Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to implement a referral system for your users and also how to give them prices in your application, for example a premium subscription for a certain time if they use a referral. This tutorial is the continuation of what Eric created a couple of months ago. Let's start with the environment. Uh, we have the users that have three values which are my referral code, referral code used and referral used which is a boolean. My referral code is the personal referral code that each user has been assigned at the end of the registration. There is a referral code which is created and it's created only if, the, if it doesn't have a, a referral code yet. Then what we have here, we have the referral code used, which is a variable used for storing which referral code has been used and a simple a simple boolean yes or no so let's check how we did it uh, the user now can simply sign up here and the first thing he will be asked to do is to input our referral code in this page uh, he has two options which are continue without referral or continue with referral of someone this is sometimes visible only if this input is empty. If I write a referral code, then I will only have the opportunity to sign in with that referral. This is a list of users, and all the users where the referral code of the user is equal to what I input here, and also the referral code is not equal to empty. Otherwise, all the users that do not have a referral, for example, all the users would appear here if the referral code would have left empty. Um, so what happens when the user clicks this button? Well, very simple, it, ju it, it just signs up without any further action. But what happens if the user clicks this button? Well, first of all, we update the price, which is the user will be premium for 30 days with this subscription. This happens always. And we want to give a price to the user that referred, right? And so we are doing this conditionally, depending whether a user is already premium or not. But this is the case where the user is not premium. We just make it premium for 30 days by having a condition. You see here, con current user premium is equal to false. And we can uh, make the premium subscription longer if the user that referred is premium. As you can see here, we are just adding 30 days to the user. And this happens only if the current user premium is true. And guys, that's it. One question that, that you could ask is what happens if I put in my own referral code? That is not possible because in my case, the referral code is generated at the end of the onboarding.